Hi there, and welcome to our video on the top 10 surreal destinations on Earth. From stunning salt flats to burning craters, our planet is home to some truly surreal places that will take your breath away. But what exactly makes a destination surreal? This artistic movement, popularized in the 1920s, is characterized by its image's bizarre, dreamlike quality. And these destinations we'll be showcasing embody that same sense of otherworldly wonder. So without further ado, let's dive into our list of the top 10 surreal destinations on Earth. At number 10, we have Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. Located in the Andes Mountains, this vast salt flat is the largest in the world, covering over 4,000 square miles. When it rains, the surface becomes a giant mirror, reflecting the sky and creating optical illusions that are truly surreal. But Salar de Uyuni is more than just a pretty face. It's also home to several species of flamingos and many hotels and restaurants built entirely out of salt blocks. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can even go scuba diving in one of the salt lakes. May to November is the best time to visit Salar de Uyuni, and be sure to bring plenty of sunscreens and a wide-brimmed hat to protect yourself from the intense sun. Next up at number 9 is the Door to Hell in Turkmenistan. The Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan is also home to this seemingly never-ending flame that's been on fire for over 50 years. It's unclear how the fire started, but some say it resulted from a failed drilling attempt in the 1970s. Despite its ominous name, it is a popular tourist destination with visitors flocking from around the world to see the constant flames and smoke emanating from the crater. This site is genuinely otherworldly as the sun sets, with the fire illuminating the dark desert sky. If you're interested in visiting the Door to Hell, the best way to get there is to hire a driver or join a tour from the capital city of Ashgabat. Just be prepared for a bumpy ride and keep with yourself plenty of water to quench your thirst. Coming in at number 8 is The Wave in Arizona. This stunning sandstone formation is located in the Coyote Buttes area of the Paria Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness and is known for its vibrant colors and surreal shapes. But The Wave is not just an amalgamation of the radiant colors, rather it's also a protected area, with only 20 permits issued per day to visit the site. And the process to obtain a permit can be competitive, with applicants entering a lottery system to secure their spot. If you're lucky enough to snag a permit, the best time to visit The Wave is during the cooler months of the year from October to April. And be sure to bring plenty of water as there are no facilities in the area. At number 7 we have the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. This site is composed of over 40,000 hexagonal basalt columns that were formed by ancient volcanic activity, and the legend of the giant adds to the surreal quality of the place. According to folklore, the columns were created by a giant who built a causeway to Scotland. But beyond the legend, the giant's causeway is a geologist's dream, with the columns providing a unique glimpse into the Earth's history. And the site is also home to many hiking trails and a visitor center where you can learn more about the formation and legend of the causeway. The perfect time to visit the giant's causeway is during the summertime when it's both more excellent out and days last longer. A good pair of walking shoes would be a perfect fit for the rocky trails of the giant's causeway. At number 6 we have the Hang Song Dong cave in Vietnam. This massive cave is the largest in the world, with a width of over 300 feet and a height of over 600 feet in some areas. And within its walls lies an underground jungle with stalactites, stalagmites and even a river. The Hang Song Dong cave was only discovered in 1991 and since then it has become a popular tourist destination. But visiting the cave is challenging as it requires a multi-day trek through the jungle and the cave itself. But for those willing to make the journey, the experience is truly surreal. Many tour companies offer guided treks if you are interested in visiting the Hang Song Dong cave. However, the trip can be physically taxing, so be prepared for the experience. Next up at number 5 is the Red Beach in China. Located in the Panjin region of Liaoning province, this beach gets its name from the seaweed that turns a vibrant red color each autumn, and the stark contrast between the red seaweed and the surrounding landscape is truly surreal. 
But the red beech is more than just a pretty picture. It's also home to many unique species, such as the endangered Chinese merganser and the red-crowned crane. And if you visit during the right time of the year, you may spot some other rare animals in their natural habitat. The best time to visit the red beach is autumn when the seaweed is the reddest. The place is an hour's drive from town, so take out an entire day to get a whole fun-packed experience. At number 4, we have the Antelope Canyon in Arizona. This stunning slot canyon is located on Navajo land near the town of Page and is known for its narrow, winding corridors and the way the light filters through them. The Antelope Canyon is divided into two sections, the Upper Canyon and the Lower Canyon, each with its unique features. The Upper Canyon is known for its smooth, curved walls and the way the light filters in from above, creating a soft, ethereal glow. On the other hand, the Lower Canyon is known for its deeper, narrower corridors and the way the light filters in from the sides, creating dramatic shadows and beams. The Antelope Canyon is best visited during the year's cooler months from October to April. However, being a photographer's paradise, the site offers great potential for those who love to capture moments. Coming in at number 3 is the Waitomo Glowworm Caves in New Zealand. These caves are home to a glowworm called Arachnocampa luminosa, which emits bright blue light to attract prey. And when you're standing in the cave, surrounded by these glowing worms, the sight is truly ethereal. It's about a two-hour drive from Auckland, and many tour companies offer transportation from the city. Tourists can ride a boat through the White Dome or Glowworm Caves, go blackwater rafting, or even abseil into the caves. It's a good idea to book your tour in advance, as the caves can get quite busy. And be sure to bring a warm jacket, as the temperature in the caves is relatively low. If you're interested in visiting the White Dome or Glowworm Caves, the best time to go is summer, when the weather is generally mild. At number 2, we have the tulip fields in the Netherlands. This country is known for its colourful fields of tulips, with over 7 billion bulbs planted each year, and when the flowers are in bloom, the landscapes are truly surreal. The tulip fields are a popular tourist destination, with many visitors coming to see the flowers in person, and there are many ways to experience the fields, from taking a leisurely bike ride through the countryside, to joining a guided tour. Spring is the best time to visit the tulip fields when the flowers bloom from April to May. However, make sure to bring your camera and learn some poses beforehand as the colourful fields make for some truly stunning photos. And finally, at number one, we have the Pink Sands Beach in the Bahamas. Located on the island of Eleuthera, this beach gets its name from the pink hue of the sand, which is caused by microscopic coral insects called foraminifera. And when the sun sets and the sky turns a deep orange color, the beach becomes genuinely surreal. Pink Sands Beach is a popular tourist destination with many nearby hotels and resorts. Some popular beach activities include lounging on the sand, swimming in the turquoise waters, and watching the sunset over the horizon. If you visit during the right time of year, you might even spot some of the island's famous swimming pigs. It's recommended to visit Pink Sands Beach during the dry season from November to May to experience the sand in all its glory. We hope you enjoyed our video on Earth's top 10 surreal destinations. From salt flats to glowing caves, these places are truly one of a kind and offer an experience unlike any other. So if you're feeling adventurous, why not add one of these destinations to your bucket list? And remember to share this video with your friends and family so they can also experience the surreal beauty of these places. But before we go, we have one more thing to ask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing travel content. And remember to leave a comment and let us know which of these surreal destinations you'd like to visit. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to bring you more fantastic travel content in the future.